Oh my gosh. Oh, here you are. <laughs> I was looking. Oh, listen. I'm Lisa Logan. I'm a psychotherapist. I'm a human being. I'm a person who's been estranged by my adult child. I am a forsaken parent. When I came up with the idea of calling us forsaken parents, it just touched my heart. And what I'm going to be talking about today with you touches my heart in a way that you just don't know. You can't imagine how much I care about you. This is about suicide. I want to, want to listen, but the last tape that I just finished, because I'm just doing these one after another so I can get them out, the last tape I just finished <laughs> was a spiritual experience. My precious aunt, she was wonderful, probably the most wonderful person in my life. I do not want to cry again. I was crying in the last tape. <laughs> and then I had a moment of, and I said, listen, I've got to do this next tape. I can't be doing this. Okay. Hi, it's really me. I'm the real me. <sighs> Let me read these to you. It is the adult child, your adult child, who lives in a new world where young adults believe themselves to be superior, entitled, where they don't have a need to have an older person in their lives. Boy, that's stupid. <laughs> where they speak condescendingly toward us and they feel superior, and they need to feel that way, in order to solidify what they think is superiority on their part. And then it is the rejected parent, the estranged parent, the alienated parent, and what I call the forsaken parent, who lives a life of shame, grief, and loneliness. I'm so sorry, because this tape is about what some of us have done about it. Some of us have. But what I'll tell you is that 90, I believe that 90% of us think about it. We're blamed for something that we don't even know what we did. And when, when I said to my daughter, why? And she sort of told me, because she didn't really have an answer. She said, well, it's because you, my daughter is beautiful, I, I adore her, but I asked her why. And she said, well, it's because you, and, just, and then she said, oh, you wouldn't understand. And she stopped. Of course I wouldn't understand, it wasn't true. <sighs> oh, <laughs> don't get me angry. Listen, I've lived that life that you have. I'm sorry that you're going through it. It's horrible, and we don't deserve it. You know, we've made mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, but we don't deserve what's going on now. Okay, so I care about you. That's why I'm doing this. I care about me because I'm doing it for you. It helps me. I love you. <laughs> I don't sound like it right now. Oh, it's just the way it is. Listen, you and I have a bond with each other. Let me read this to you. I was t I made this tape also yesterday, and then I had to stop because I talked too slow. But out of the blue, I just picked this up. It's a copy of one that I scribble all over of my book, one of the pages in my book, and this was the page. Amazing. This is about me and my daughter. It's out of Forever My Daughter, and I do a lot of talking to my daughter in that book. But the reason I wrote it down is because it, you'll be able to identify with it. Tell me, how can you be yourself, an adult who loves her children with all her heart when you have been chastised by their mother in front of them. I feel ashamed 
Why, I even feel ashamed to let you know that I've been chastised by her in front of them, and I've done nothing. It brings me a measure of comfort to know that others have also been treated as less than as I have, because you understand the less than choice that has to be made. Do I allow her to treat me this way, or do I speak up? To speak up means most very likely that I may not be a part of my family any longer if I do speak up. To speak down means to be a less than member of my family. I was no one who was important. And the punishment for the unknown crime was back in its place that death would be better than this hell on earth. Surely there is more for me on the other side with a loving higher power who is the essence of love in the universe and did not after all forsake his own child. I don't want us to talk about religion here. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't put that there. That is in the book right there. Uh, we have a high rate of suicide, and it's wrong. I, about three months ago, there were two different headlines, two weeks apart. I think that's true. The first one was about how many women now are overdosing on their medication or overdosing on drugs. Well, guess what? And they never once mentioned that they were maybe committing suicide because of the fact that they no longer were a part of their family. I was angry. The, they, they said that from the 90s to now, the suicide rate has gone sky high with women. Okay? Well, guess what? It's gone sky high because estranged parents, rejected parents, forsaken parents have gone sky high too. I believe it. You think about it. You know it's true. And you know that a good number of you have thought about committing suicide. We don't do it. The majority of us, of course not. If we did, this would be having so much attention. Please don't do it. There's another way to put a stop to what's going on to us, what's happening to us. It's getting cold in here. I don't want you to commit suicide. Two weeks later, another, uh, another headlines again. This one was out about the boomers committing suicide, that they're overdosing on medication. If they didn't, I don't know why they didn't tie the two articles together, but they didn't. This was about the baby boomers. Well, that's you. You also. Please don't do it. Please stay with me and fight. Put a stop to what's going on. Please, I need you to help me do this. I can't do it alone. I'm going to do everything I can, but it needs to be lots of us. And there are lots of us who are being treated this way. A ton of us. See, the thing is, we don't really know how many. I do. I don't really. But I know it's big. There are so many of us that are going through. Listen, I can't ride a train without half the people who are my age saying, I'm one of them when they find out that I'm writing a book about this. I can't walk down the aisle in Fred Myers and strike up a conversation with someone without that person when they find out what I'm doing, this, this is back before I began to do this, have you on these videos, talk to you on these videos. Sorry. 
We're all over the place. You have no idea because we're ashamed to say it out loud. You have no idea how many of us there are. Please tell your friends about this, these videos. Please tell your friends about me. Don't tell your adult children. I don't want to, I don't want to talk to them. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to have adult children here, but I'm not interested in having them talk because I've listened to them. My God, there was a, there was a website where people had written and talked about their heartbreak. No, 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 wrong website. Wait, there was a website where I read this, all these adult children were talking about how horrible their parents were. So this woman writes, she's a parent of, these, of, a, of an adult child, and she said, could you just tell me, please, uh, why this is happening? Why do you feel that way about your parents? I mean, I could hear her loveliness. She was just asking for help. She got attacked. I'm going to call them assholes by those assholes. <laughs> oh, don't, don't be, don't be, don't, don't write and tell me I shouldn't use those words. <sighs> Look, when I meet them, I have a lot of compassion for them, but not with you. In order to get this website made, I have talked with a lot of young people that I know very well talk badly about older people. I have very little patience for them. They know something woo-woo that I don't know about how to do this. That doesn't make them superior to me. It doesn't. And it doesn't make them superior to you. If they were raised in the decade that we were raised in, they wouldn't know that much about, about uh, building websites. But they were raised in the new millennium. Okay, that's all. That's all. It doesn't make them more than we are. It just makes them know something we don't know. But we know, and I'll, I'll buy what we know as being the best any day. We have wisdom and we have love. I'll buy those two things any day. Spiritual wisdom and love. Our grandchildren need that from us. Just wait. Don't take your own life. Wait. Wait and see the changes that we're going to make. Please. Do I have anything else I want to say? Because this is a very important video to me in my heart. I guess not. I'll probably think of 20,000 things when I'm done. But all I can tell you is that I need you to help me with this. We're going to band together and we're going to be honest. We're going to say, this has got to stop. And we're going to say it's happening to thousands of us. We're going to tell the truth. But in the, before we do that, I'm going to teach you how to speak to your adult child. You'll see. It's going to change. It's okay. But I have no judgment for any of you. I don't care what's happened. You know, whatever goes on is between you and your higher power. I happen to know that we're here to learn to love. No, I'm not supposed to talk. I apologize. Well, that's just spirituality. That's not religion. We're here to learn to love. Please, don't take your own life. Not yet. It's don't until you find out what's here for you. And it isn't just me. It's the other men and women who are willing to reach out to you. We just have to come together and do it. It's going to happen. Okay. I love you. That's enough. Okay. Thank you for being here. Please come back. Please write to me. 
The email address is ForsakenParents at gmail.com. The G stands for Google at gmail.com. Please write to me. Tell me who you are. Tell me about you. Tell me that you love me. Because <laughs> I love you. Okay. Actually, you have, several of you have written and told me that you love me. And I love hearing that. Thank you so much. So how could we help but love each other? We, we are the only ones who know this pain. Okay, I'm going to quit. I'm harping. Goodbye. Thank you for coming. Please stay alive. Bye-bye.